can't wait till it grows pool noodles. Yep, yeah, it's gonna be a pool noodle farm. Actually, I figure keep the moisture around the trunk of the tree and it might help it a little bit. Usually put about a gallon and a half on each one of these peach trees, or excuse me, pecan trees. And how'd you get this idea? Came from uh, Tony Wash. Wash Farms down in Georgia gave me the idea. Actually, recommended that I do something like this. And since I've started coming out here and watering these on a regular basis, all that was here was just this. And in the last week and a half, all this other growth has started. They wanted your water. We're going to keep putting the effort into it and hopefully it'll bounce back. Of the two of them that we got in the mail, this is the one that uh, looked the worst. And I think it's having the worst time. Now there was, there was a little sprout coming out down here the other day. So, so this is what's left of what was corn and um, some black eyed peas and okra. And it's still going to be the green patch out here. Um, we're just kind of waiting on some of this stuff. These, this okra and these um, purple hull peas are still growing, producing, so they're not going to be plowed under yet to start the fall garden. This corn out here is going to be drying a little bit more. I'm walking right now where the other two middle rows of corn were that have already been harvested. That was the uh, sweet corn here. And actually this corn, you can see the raccoons have been bending it over. I see some cobs leaning. You see that? It's probably time to harvest it. And just let it dry um, inside. So I think that's what we'll do today is come out and pick what little corn is on there. Those were the farthest out and didn't get much. Um, I've got some weeds on this side. All, I mean... We're just going to take this trellis up. There's more weeds than beans being allowed to grow here. We're not getting any more squash off of those. We're not getting any more peppers down there. This trellis um, got about halfway up with some of them, and then nothing. You see, there's more blooms coming on these peas. On um, some of them. Some of them look like they're done. This corn, we're going to go ahead and pull it and let it dry inside. It's time to pull it. No telling what kind of little critters are inside. <laughs> Maybe I'll let you guys have some fun and watch it being uh, shucked. Look at that. That's the Amish melon. Look at it trailing way out here. I keep trying to turn it and it keeps trailing out. So I, I keep switching it back that way. Some of the other purple hole peas out here just kind of, you know, came up from last year and we just left them. There's another Amish melon that's finally come a couple inches off the ground. And the rabbits keep chewing them down. And it, I have to keep coming out and putting orange oil. This one's growing flowers without even having a vine. You see that one's starting to pick up too. And then what I've been hiding behind wheat and stuff like that to keep from being eaten. Look at that gourd. And then back here on Sunflower Row where the weeds do not want to quit. Um, it's actually a little bit cleaner around the sunflowers. Yeah, you can tell that I try to keep, you know, these areas down. But yeah, we're, we're getting 
some good seeds. You see something else has been getting some seeds out too. That sunflower's got a little dent in it. <laughs> But I'll show you some of the seeds that we've harvested from these. And those zinnias over there. You see the little pink and purple zinnias way back there? In front of the little corn. That corn's just back up. And it needs some nitrogen. You see how bright yellowish it looks? It needs nitrogen. Oh, look. I've got another uh, Iraqi melon growing to replace the one the raccoon took a bite out of. The blackberries look about done for this year. We picked a bunch of these on this side too. It may just be this side that's done because down there they're still colorful. Look at the difference. Look at the color difference. Look at those little pokeweed berries poking out there. That big purple stem. Nope, I was wrong. That was the pokeweed I saw. Or poke berries. Whatever you call those things. Yeah, all the blackberries look browned out. So we looked at the corn, pulled off a few, and we decided that we're going to let it sit with some fertilizer and some water for another week and see what happens. So in the meantime... We're going to check everything else out for that okra down there. That's about seven inches long. Ooh, look at that one. That's easily a foot long on the ground. <laughs> there are bees back here. They love these okra flowers. Ooh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> I to get my hand back. Oh, look at that. Murderer. Look at that murderer. Look at him. You better get out of here. This thing has been eating this stuff. Look at that guy. Uh-huh. Yeah, but the okra doesn't get sprayed, so. Yeah, let's watch him eat the okra. I hope he's going to hide. He said, I don't like that. back in the day had eggs in it and everything wonder what this one has in it t-r-o-u-b-l-e you gonna fly got it scoot well, scoot scoot on mr. grasshopper I wish I had some chickens to feed you two you'd be a goner because we don't water every day. It made channels in the rows. How's it going, Ant? Well, other than it kind of overflowing down there a little bit. That's pieces. good. The stuff down there can get some some well, needed H2O without having to drag a hose down there. I was trying to get it all the way around the end of the corn. So I think it might work. So I guess we'd go pull some trellis up.
Coming down, 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 coming down. The trellis in the garden's coming down. When the bugs come out to play. <laughs> Look at that. There are stink bug eggs on what what healthy squash the one healthy squash that we got down here. There's stink bug eggs on just about every leaf. I did get uh, the stink bugs uh, with the orange oil and neem oil, but it's pretty much too late for these guys. If anything, we're gonna you know go triple heart with the. Uh, Whatchamacallit, <laughs> the uh, containers. Look at that though, these yellow pear tomatoes. Yeah, the yellow pear tomatoes seem to really like the fact that uh, that there's no, no competition anymore because they're coming up now. Those purple whole peas got all kinds of entrenched in there, didn't they? Those lima beans are putting on some more pods. Well, got one scarlet runner bean that made it. Out of all of this, it's crazy back here. Restart. And these are, just, it's just a row of Crowder peas and mixed in with a little bit of corn just because there were a couple extra seeds that were in. Oh, look, there's a frog and he just, <laughs> that toad was like, I'm out of here. He could have just been wanting to get away from me and the sun. The banana peppers. Looks like they're going to give us a little bumper crop here, especially this one. Man, oh man, look at that guy. Yeah, these black-eyed peas love vertical climbing, but... They're not black-eyed, a uh, purple hole. But it wasn't meant for them. That chaps my hide. I appreciate Ed coming out to do all this dirty work. Look at those muscles. Woo, I missed it. I missed it. Do it again, Ed. Tense. Strain. I don't want to. You put them in there pretty good with a hammer. You want to pour some water on it, soften it up. Purple hole peas got all the attention. Look at that little sugar baby. These are my daughter's melons. And it looks like the cousins haven't really paid much attention to their stuff. You want this one down too? Oh, we're not done. We we're, we're not done um, with this. Just those certain things that were supposed to be for the spring. They're done. Um, the next time that we put that up, it's going to be at the other property. That one stake didn't want to come out of the ground, so Ed's going to go and wrestle it. These are different types of sunflowers. You see the dwarf version and the goliath version. And the mammoth version, except the mammoth versions didn't get very big this year. Not mine. No, Aaron's got really big. 
I've got some more coming up to take their place. That one's already putting on a head. I don't think it's going to get very big at all. Now you see all this weed? All this weed. It's not weed. Um, they're weeds. All those weeds. Um, there were some gourds out here and some uh, lemon cucumber. Let's look at that. It's a lemon cucumber. It actually made it all the way. It's weird that the raccoon chose my little melon when it could have had that bright yellow lemon cucumber. Out here. Look at that. Well, oh, there's a little gourd out there. You see that? Take it closer without stepping on a I don't see anything else that really made it way out here. The rabbits are way out here. And this is a bowl full of seed. See, it's several, several, several handfuls. Um, I'm guessing that's about two cups, maybe three cups, I don't know. Possibly more than that. Uh, and that's all from the um, Goliath. No, no, the Goliath was the other one. That's from the Mammoth Sunflower. I don't know how many of them are viable. Maybe all of them. That's a lot of sunflowers. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that one, that one, that's next to it also, because it's ready. It looks like there's another one coming out there, is it? In that same spot? Uh, there is some more hair right there. Yeah, it looks like another, yeah. It's right there next to it. Sure was. That's interesting. Glad I didn't put all the way through it. Yeah. That's a sweet corn. We can always pull it. Look at that stink bug up there. Where? In front of your... Oh. Woo! Look at him hitting stuff as he leaves. Yeah. Leave it? Yeah, no, let's pull it. Let's pull the sweet corn and see what happens. That one came from the Heritage Pack. That was not a McGee trucker's favorite. This trucker's favorite compared to those. Actually, I need to line them up better. And then those are also trucker's favorite. These came from the garden today, and there's going to be um, some more harvested after we do a little bit more watering and fertilizing of that corn. There's probably going to be a bunch of husk. We can make some tamales out. Yep. Well, it's hairy. It's not a huge. No, no, it's not. Corn, None of them were. Not even the the ones that uh that came from the, that made the seeds for that. It's already been drying. That's good. The one in the house um, that I pulled from that stalk that uh, had the really big one. It's already got pretty much all the kernels dry. Look at that. Look how it compares once you pull it. This again in a week. Yeah. And then add to it. Add to it, okay. This was the sweet corn, huh? I honestly don't remember now. <laughs> like I said, we got a couple that, that actually look fairly decent for, for corn, but some of them are just like, that one's related to, to Mater the tow truck. <laughs>